Let me be real clear. This is one of my least favorite stretches of road anywhere. I'm on I-90 coming out of Ellensburg heading towards Moses Lake and the wind is brutal. When I looked it was 30 to 35 mile an hour and it hits you at a funny angle and you never know what it's going to do. So this is a suffer fest until I get to where the wind calms down but in another 40 miles or so it says it should get lighter. We'll see what happens. I don't know. As you can see, the windmills are all cranking. That's kind of how you know the wind is really howling. When you get it at an angle, it will keep you on your toes. And it is zapping my fuel mileage. And there is one stretch where I left it in fifth gear instead of sixth, even at freeway speeds. Have that engine really humming and have a little more gyroscopic force, especially since everything in mine spins this way along with the bike. So it does help to stabilize the bike a little bit to have the revs up high. go we keep going the wind has calmed down a little bit or you're out here on these plains though so i'm pretty exposed if there's a gust of wind or anything that comes up obviously what's going to be interesting is figuring out if the road's going to go that way and i'm going into that the thunderstorm that you see over there and also you know, storms like that create a big pressure difference and the wind can really pick up all of a sudden out of nowhere. So I've got to also be careful with that. That's looking ominous to me. I don't think I'm going to miss it. Temperatures dropped 15 degrees. It looks like I'm heading right for it. A couple stops ago, I took my insulated jacket off. Now I'm starting to wonder if I shouldn't have it back on. So I've got to look for an exit if I'm going to do that. I don't want to be stopped on the side of the freeway in this. I'm also going to check the old weather and see which way the storm is going. We'll have to see is how far I'm in this. I'm hoping it's just a thunderstorm, you know, in another few miles or something, I pop out the other side, but who knows. The one redeeming fact about this route is that I'm just leaving Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And if you're going to have to take the interstate, this is the way to do it. We've got a lot of corners. It's pretty dang scenic. See the wind sock, you can see the deal, the wind that we're dealing with. Yeah, not bad for interstate, eh? Out of the rain. <laughs> that seems to be the, uh, the way this works. In the showers, out of showers, the sun's out, the beautiful creek. This makes you enjoy I-90. Welcome to the 80 mile an hour speed limits in Montana. I've been on my own for miles now. Haven't seen anything behind me. Haven't seen anything in front of me. I do have some pretty ominous looking clouds. So I have the distinct feeling 
that I may not be done with the rain for the day. I think this could sum up my day. Back in the rain. This one doesn't look too bad. At least right here. It's beautiful through here though. Made it to Missoula. It doesn't look great, but I think the storm is going away from us. I think I timed it pretty well. So my exit is coming up here. It looks like. Yeah, one mile. As a BMW rider, I really just picked this hotel because there was a Starbucks at this exit. <laughs> I, uh, I shouldn't say that. Now, let's go see what we're making of this. Well, I made it to the hotel room, and I don't know if I'm the least smart guy in the world or if I just have bad luck every now and again, but I went to the bar here at the hotel and figured I'd have a beer or two or three, and the time sort of got away from me, and apparently everything here closes at 9 o'clock at night, and I went a little bit over. So I have nothing for dinner except for what I had packed in my luggage, which is a pack of beef jerky. So and that pretty much sums it up. But all my stuff is charged, so I have that going for me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm all loaded up now. Um, this is my last freeway stretch of the trip. So I just gotta get through this. The weather, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna avoid the rain today. I think I'm gonna get stuck in it a little bit. Probably pretty bad in some places looking at the radar. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Suck it up, have a good time. It's kind of an ominous looking day, that's for sure. But you can see some clearing off in the distance, maybe. So who knows? I have about 115 miles left on the interstate. And then I finally get off it, and that'll be the, the last of the interstate for the entire trip. I will all be back road from then on out. go 6300 feet if you're watching moto ramblings this is an interesting section because there's a big difference in speed limits the semis have a 35 mile per hour speed limit through here so down to 25 so that makes for some interesting traffic patterns because all of the cars and motorcycles everything has a 65 mile an hour speed limit like some lunch. After the jerky dinner last night, good small town diner lunch sounds fantastic. So we'll do that and then 
You're going to want to keep paying attention to this video. I have got a massive, massive surprise for you. And that's going to how that will be eventually how we end the video. Let's go find some food. successful. Yes. I found myself somewhere. What a beautiful area, huh? Man, can't get enough of these mountains. Just stunning out here. This part ends a point. The weather's been okay. Everywhere I go, the forecast keeps telling me rain, but so far, learned that little bit this morning, it hasn't come true. Here we go, onward. Coming from Ennis, Montana, into West Yellowstone, between those two. Just stunning. I love these big mountains. Well, let's see. My luck may be running out with the good weather. So that's all you get for this. You're going to have to tune into the next episode to find out what happens next. <laughs>